up YouTube is Greatest Lifts, man. And guess what? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm in the gym doing some deadlifts with the hex bar. Now, a lot of you are probably like thinking to yourself, you know, hex bar versus the traditional deadlift. But, you know, for me, I used to do a traditional deadlift when I was competing. And after I was done competing and I started running into a lot of problems with my lower back. And uh, I kept realizing, I kept finding out that, you know, I kept running into this problem of having these back spasms. You know, back then I thought it was like a pinched nerve until later on I went to the doctor and they told me that I was having back spasms. And, um, you know, that's one of the reasons why I gave up doing the, conven the conventional deadlift. You know what I mean? It was like my number one workout. You know, I was uh, deadlifting over 600 over 600 pounds when I was 19 years old, you know, and um, 500 on the deadlift was like a joke. You know, I was picking up lots of weight at 18, man. I was deadlifting over 500 pounds at 18 for repetitions. So when I go in the gym and I see guys putting up five plates who are like full adults, and I'm thinking back on what I used to do when I was young, I'm just like, wow, man, I've been there and done that. I mean, it's nice to see. It gets me excited. But when guys are walking around the gym acting as if they really accomplished something, I'm just like, dude, man, when I was competing, we were doing that stuff in high school. So, you know, for all of you people out there that's, that's bragging on these 500 squats, and I'm like, dude, I was doing that in my teenage years until I injured my back. You know, just a few years ago, I was, I mean, I was uh, squatting 600 pounds. And I'm not trying to like sit here and step on anybody's accomplishments or anything like that, but I see a lot of guys that just be walking around in the gym acting as if they're like on the top of the world, like they're the strongest person in the gym because of deadlifting and squatting 500 pounds. When you got people that did it when they were in their teens. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I'm not impressed by a lot of people, man. I'm really not. You know, unless you're like Ronnie Coleman, or you're like Larry Wills or some uh, Cali Muscle or people like that who are doing like ridiculous weight. I'm just not impressed, man. I'm not impressed by people who go in the gym and squat four or 500 pounds. Even though I'll sit there and get excited and cheer those guys on, I'm just not impressed by it because I've been there and done it. But anyway, I started doing the hex deadlift because of the injuries and I find the uh, hex deadlift to be more um, effective when it comes to what I'm doing. You know, my needs are different these days. It's not about just picking up a bunch of weight and trying to be the uh, strength hero or the uh, weight room hero of the gym anymore. You know, it's about building muscle and building muscle the right way. So I do deadlifts on leg day because I find that when done properly, you target your legs. For some reason, I feel like people have gotten this mindset of thinking that deadlifts is a back workout and it's really not when done the right way because I've experimented with this I've took I've taken like um, lightweight on a conventional deadlift and I did my repetitions very slowly and the next day I woke up feeling all of the soreness in my glutes my hamstrings and my quads and in my calves I didn't feel anything in the lower back and I didn't feel anything in my upper back. It's not a back workout. I think we've gotten this uh, philosophy from guys like, you know, seeing Dorian Yates, seeing people like Ronnie Coleman do deadlifts on the um, back day. And a lot of us have taken that and ran with it like, yeah, you, you know, you're supposed to do deadlifts on back day. I'm like, no, you're not. When I was powerlifting, man, we didn't do deadlifts on back day. That that's not what we did. I think we even did. I think we did deadlifts on a leg day, if I'm not mistaken. You know, um, when you're doing with the hex bar, they target your quadriceps. You're feeling more with the quads. I'm trying to build my legs up, so it's only right that I would do deadlifts on a leg day. You know, some people maybe. Some guys don't do it that way because they feel like it puts a lot of stress on the lower back and because you're picking up a maximum amount of weight, it's going to affect how you squat. 
I mean, I can understand it, whatever floats your boat, but don't walk around saying that deadlifts are strictly for your back. You know, they can only be done on back day because that's not true. If your body adapts to doing something, then it gets used to it. You know what I mean? So, it doesn't have to just be on back day, y'all. Don't get stuck in the mindset of thinking that, you know, I have to do it this way because this is what they say and this is the standard. No, just like you don't have to train back and bias together. You don't have to train biceps and triceps together. Everything can be trained differently. So don't get in the mindset of thinking that, you know, we got to do things a certain way. Like there's a certain method on how to do things. It all depends on how you feel about the workout, how your body responds to it. And for me, I respond better by doing deadlifts on leg day. Okay? I get the maximum benefit of my leg workout doing it like that. Alright, so I'm going to jump to the next thing. You know, um, with this hex bar, my goal was to go up to six plates on each side. So I've been running into a bit of a problem these days uh, with the videos. You know, you guys don't see me making videos as much because I find that sometimes when I'm lifting, when I'm focused on a, a lift that I really want to accomplish in the gym, I find that recording re uh, distracts me. Or I run into a slight injury or something like that. And you're going to see that in this video when I load up on five plates. You know, I started out with two plates for 12 reps. I don't normally do that. Normally I just start out with one plate and then I gradually increase and I keep my weight, I keep my reps around like six to eight. So after I finished with the uh, two plates, I went up to four plates. And when you see me go on the five plates, you're gonna see a shift in my hips. Now when I ran into that shift in my hips on the second rep, that's when I stopped. And then I walked around for a little bit and I started thinking to myself, you know, should I put that six wheel up there? I had an audience around me, you know, of course, I was showing off, but I just wanted to capture this big lift on camera. You know what I mean? Like the goal was to lift six plates on each side for three reps. That was my goal. I had been thinking about it all day, you know, the day before, you know, meditating on it, you know, because a lot of times when it's time for me to lift heavy, I meditate the day before. I focus all of my energy, my mindset, my food, and everything on that one lift. And I end up accomplishing that lift, but like I said, I've been running into this problem lately of doing these videos, and it's almost as if doing videos have been jinxing me. Because just the other day, guys, that 365 that I was struggling on, that, that bench press that I just put up a few days ago, where I wanted to go for six reps, but only got four, well, I got it for six reps the other day. And I didn't have any distractions around me. I didn't have the people around me, you know, the ego lifters. I didn't have the camera, you know, uh, focusing on doing a YouTube video, trying to capture it on camera. I didn't have any of that. It was just me and my intensity. And I ended up getting six reps. I had been working on that lift for about six months, trying to get six reps with 365. I kept going at it. I kept trying and I kept trying. I would go on week after week. And sometimes I wouldn't even bench press. I would just do a bunch of incline stuff. You know, I moved around. Yeah, I moved around a lot on different machines. You know what I mean? So I could uh, give my body a bit of a break. Because in my opinion, from what I've experienced, if you do the same thing too many times, you start to plateau. So it's best to utilize everything in the gym so you can get different results. And uh, I find that to be effective in my workouts, you know. Um, and another thing, another piece of advice I have for you guys out there, like if you're struggling on a lift, don't give up. Keep doing it. Keep doing it until you succeed, man. I mean, look at what I did. I kept doing that lift until I finally got up to six reps. Now, I used to bench press 365 for like 12 to 15 reps, but now I'm lighter. I'm actually stronger now in my age now than what I was when I was younger. You know, because I know how to lift properly. You know, it comes down to nutrition, the amount of sleep you get, and things of that nature. You know, it's just all about 
taking care of your body, you know, uh, points of protein. You know, this thing is a science, man. This is a 24-hour job. And, uh, you know, the older I get, the better I get at it. So, don't give up on the lift. Just because you plateaued, you can always come back. You just got to come up with a different way of doing things. You know, on the bench, I had to go heavier on the tricep work. You know, there's a hammer strength machine in the gym. A hammer strength press down machine. And I just started going heavier on that machine. And before I knew it, you know, I was getting stronger on my tricep presses. You know, because I was struggling on that for a while. And I couldn't get over a certain amount of weight or I was just feeling in my joints. And now I'm doing the whole stack with ease. So, you know, uh, when it comes down to bench pressing the tricep, definitely have to get work. And they got to get work heavy. For all of you guys that don't know, man, you know, when you when you work on the triceps, you got to put some load on the triceps, man. You know, that's what's going to get you a heavier bench from going heavy on triceps. And you got to go heavy on the back. And you also got to go heavy on the rear delts, too. You got to work those because that's where your pushing power is coming from. So, you know, don't just think that you're going to go in the gym and keep benching every week and you're going to get stronger. No, you have to work those other muscle groups because they all tie in together. So that's my advice to you guys. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out, you, you see me wrap my knees up on certain lifts, you know, on the 500. Now I do that because with the knee wraps, it actually helps me. It breaks, it, it takes away the impact on coming down with the weight. You know, like I said, man, I'm not, I'm not the guy I used to be, man. I'm a lot... You know, my body has changed over the years, so I'm not as effective as I used to be in certain things. And I don't even want to say effective. The body just doesn't respond to things like they used to. You know, the knees take a longer time to warm up. You know, before doing any leg workout, I got to do a bunch of leg extensions. Um, I have to do, like, hamstring workouts before I even get into my leg workout just to get everything warmed up to get the synovial fluid going and make sure that I'm properly hydrated. You know, those things, I didn't have to do this stuff when I was younger, you know? But those little things make a world of a difference when you're working out. You know, it definitely improves performance. So for all of you out there thinking that being hydrated or being properly warmed up is a, is a, is a joke. Hey man, talk to me when you're in your mid-30s, almost 40 years old. Talk to me and, and let me know how you feel when you start having the old man syndrome. Things just aren't working the same way anymore. And I guarantee you'll be saying to yourself, you know what? I need to warm up before I do this stuff. Because, um, yeah just a whole different world when you start getting up in age man the body just changes and you have to adapt and evolve with the changes that your body's going through and if you don't adapt you're gonna be on the sidelines you're gonna be a spectator you're gonna get hurt and you're gonna be sitting around saying damn man i gained all this weight and uh you know i just can't bounce back but people fail to evolve they fail to educate themselves on how to get better the only reason why I was able to get better because I became a personal trainer. And through personal training, I educated myself, you know, by reading books, taking tons of certifications, and uh, expanding my knowledge on the human body. I was able to incorporate that into my life and make myself better with working out. So I encourage all of you to do the same thing. You know, if you want to get better, you have to up your knowledge more. We'll have to do some reading. I'm not saying go out there and become a personal trainer or anything like that, but hey, get a personal training book and read through it. You'll learn a lot. There's a lot to be learned, man, and that's how I got to where I'm at. You know, I don't remember me bench pressing 365 pounds for six reps at a body weight of 210. I don't remember me doing that. Maybe I was doing like two or three reps, but not six. Like I said, that's a matter of nutrition. Nutrition, education, knowledge, you know, sleep, all of that. All of that plays a role in what I'm doing. So 
So, uh, yeah. As you can see in this video, um, well, not the video, but as you can see on this last lift when I go up and put six plates on each side. You know, there's a level of thinking I'm doing because I already felt that shift when I had the five plates. You know, uh, the week before that, I had did five plates for like six reps, and it was easy. And when I did it this time around, my hip was shifting. So I felt a bit, I felt some pain right there. But that's why you see me walking around a little bit, you know, thinking about what I want to do. I end up putting six plates on each side, but definitely uh, contemplating on whether or not I should do that lift. So I walked over to the side and I started lifting some light weight just to see. I used the bar and um, I did that because I wanted to see like if I would feel pain in my hip. And I did. I felt a bit of a tweak and I was like, you know what, that's it. And um, yeah, just walked away from the lift. Maybe next time. Stay tuned for the next video.